everyone. Castle Arts have sent me this set of 120 coloured pencils so I thought I would unbox it and um, show you um, it and my other Castle Art sets and have a little chat about their pencils really. Sort of, not quite a review, but maybe, maybe it is. So uh, they come, they came in an outside package and then this cardboard box and then inside we have the tin, it's upside down. Sorry about the glare from the camera. I'll uh, just take off the cellophane and then it won't be so glary. It's not the glare from the camera, of course, it's the glare from the light. Now they send me this because they want me to become, to sort of collaborate with them. And what they've done is they've sent me a special um, code. Oh, I just hit my camera. I'm really sorry. It's gone very square. Hold on a minute. There we go. <laughs> Right, so they sent me a code to share with you, which I've put in the description, which um, is a discount code for 20% discount. It's also an affiliate code for me, so I need to tell you that, obviously, to be open and honest. So I get 5% commission on sales using my code, but you would also get 20% discount. It's a one-time only use for you guys. For me, I get the commission every time you use the code but for for you you can only use the 20% discount once so wait till they've got a good sale or until, or until there's a lot of things that you want and use it and you won't be able to use it with any other discount codes I can't imagine I know there's one at the moment for 10% off I think um and things like that but it varies between regions my code at the moment is only can only be used in the UK and the affiliate link is for the UK website I have asked about US they said they can't do me affiliate in the US but they can might be able to organize a discount code for the US so give it a try and uh, see what um, see if it works um, the discount code is just Rachel Henderson colouring, all in caps. I don't know if the, it's case sensitive. Remember, colouring has got a U in it, spelled in the UK way. And if you try it in the in a checkout, you can see if it works. It may not. So we've opened our tin. And we have a little bit of blurb about Castle here, actually about Castles, and we have all the colours there. Okay. No, we're not going to dwell on that. We're just going to see what we get. We get a little. Um, tutorial to colour a castle. Now these tutorials that come inside the tins, there are various ones in different tins, they have printouts now on their website of the um, blank line art on for a lot of them so you don't need to draw it, you can just co um, copy it through if you want to do it. I've never tried one. Um, this is about the castle club. Um, this is a big guide with all the colours in and it's got like swatches of all the colours and things like that. And it, But this is all their products, so it's not just the pencils. So some of the colours aren't available in the pencil. This is a little booklet um, telling you about using pencils, um, different techniques for texturing, for burnishing, blending, layering, different strokes drawing pressures color wheel color theory how to hold your pencil things like that i've read this before because it came in another box that i had it's quite useful we have a swatch chart just have a quick look see what sort of order it's in it looks fairly good the one that came with the gold i've got it here i'll just show it to you what was in the strangest order so you start with the pales and go yellow and then purple, red. We have some greens here and a few greens here and a green there and some more reds over here. It's very old. Anyway, this one looks quite good. It folds in half of it. Um, you can get the PDFs for these. Um, if you ask Castle, if you write to their customer service, they sell, send it to you. So if you don't have one in your set, they will send them out. And we have a little protective sheet. It's like a piece of waxed paper. And here are the pencils. Now I'm quite excited to see what we've got in here because I have a selection of sets. I'm going to show you in a minute, um, but I don't have 120. So it's, it's interesting to see what we've got. I'll show you one pencil and then we'll um, 
I talk about the different sets and it's a black pencil but the end is painted so we've got a bit of colour there to show us. On this side it tells us the colour, lemon yellow light's got a number and it just says Castle Art Soft Touch there. Okay now that's that's um we've got we'll look at them all properly in a minute. So we've got three, one, two, three layers. Okay, so that's oh, there's some nice colours down there. So that's it basically for a minute. I do find these trays a little bit awkward to get in and out of the tin. I've done something wrong. It doesn't want to go back in. Now Castle do sets, they do a 72 set, uh, this 120 set, and they do smaller sets too, and I'll show you. So they do smaller sets like this. This is the 24 botanical set, okay? And I'm just going to show you around this set and how different or similar it is. You see it's well used. In the lid it's got a little swatch of each one, and uh, we've got a selection of pencils. Now all their small sets, there's quite a few, um, Botanical Urban, Seascape Landscape, Monet Cezanne, Kandinsky, Bocelli and there was Van Gogh. I think that's all of them. And in all their small sets they have a white and a black, which slightly annoys me. Blacks are quite useful, whites not so much so. And a selection of pencils. That one's got a sticker on. Um, I'll explain about that later. But anyway, so we've got um, a selection of colours. This is botanical, so the colours have been chosen for botanical works. What is important to know is that their sets, every pencil they make is in the 120. The twen this 24 set are in here. Their 72 set are in here. Their portrait set are in here. So if you want all of their pencils, all you need is the 120. You don't need all of the small sets. So that's just worth thinking about. Um, however, the small sets are really handy for out and about. This is obviously huge. I'd never take this anywhere with me. I'd keep it at home. It's very useful to have, obviously. But these are nice and handy to pop in your bag. The tins don't open so that you can stop them in your bag. The pencils obviously move around a bit, but the pencils are quite good in the sense they don't break that easily. So if they just slide around, it doesn't matter. So these, I've got the botanical set. And I've also bought the Monet set with some vouchers I had. Because I had the 72 set um, already, I bought this one because it had a selection of colours that were quite different to the um, 72 set. And someone also kindly bought me the Seascape set as well. And these are quite nice to use on their own. But uh, I'll show you my 72 set though. So you see the difference now. The lid, whoops, the lid comes off my 72 set, it's broken, which is slightly annoying. Um, but you know, um, and all my pencil trays were upside down. <laughs> That's my fault. So you can see it's really similar. You get the three layers, it's just thinner. Okay, you can see how much I use them, quite a lot. Um, again, I've got tape on these. These are the ones that bleed into white pen. I put a bit of tape on them, so if I want to use white, it tells me so some of them do that so that's what you get with the 72 you get some of the bits of paper and bump as well but I'm just showing you those and what I've done is I've put together this chart now this chart is available in my Kofi shop and it tells you exactly which colors are available in which sets so it's quite difficult for you to see I should imagine but this is the 120 set so they're all in that one this is the 72 and these are all the other sets and what's in each set. I actually checked with Castle about these ones that I didn't know and they confirmed to me what was in there. So that's the chart. So it's got a little asterisk next to the one. Now why that is useful to know is that say you've got this 120 set and your very favourite colours are starting to run low so you want to buy new ones. Well you could replace the whole set. They don't sell open stocks. So you can't buy single pencils. But you can, of course, buy these, which are cheaper than replacing the whole 120. So it could be worth knowing that, say, three or four of your favourites are in one of those smaller sets. It might work out better to buy one of those rather than replace the whole lot, as you could end up with a 100 of one colour that you never use. So that chart's available for free to download from Kofi. But we're going to play with it a little bit more now. 
and I'm going to show you how. Um, what I've done is I've swatched my 72 pencils already on the chart and I'm going to add in the swatches now for the 120 for the ones that are missing from the 72 so the additional ones I thought it would be interesting to have a look at what they've what extra ones are in this set so that I can think about whether it's really worth having the 120 or same with you you might I mean obviously it's very personal it depends on what your favorite colors are but if you have a look now I shall come in a lot closer to my chart so you can have a look let's try and keep a color family in there so that's the yellows so you can see that with the um, 72 set you get all these yellows that's probably moving into orange so we're missing the Naples yellow light I think that's probably this I'm just having trying to find it that's going to be the um, tricky part where is it? <laughs> it could take some time. Uh, it, I can't find it. <laughs> hmm. So we've got a lemon yellow light. Maybe I have got got it wrong. It's number seventy three. Maybe these are in number order. Bear with me. Yeah, they are. Here it is right down in tray two so this is Naples yellow light so let's swatch it here I think this is going to be very very pale so for me it's odd it's 73 but anyway for me that is a very cream it's a very nice cream colour but not something that I would necessarily use that often okay so that's that one the next missing one we have is Cadmium Yellow Deep. Now, a lot of the yellows, I feel, are a little bit, I don't want to say wishy-washy, but they aren't the sort of brightest, darkest, you know, colours. So, it'd be interesting to see this one. This is interesting. Now, this barrel, I'll just put it a bit lower down so it's in focus for you, is quite brown. Can you see? It looks quite gold. But the end looks quite orange. So what colour are we actually going to get from our cadmium yellow deep? Well, that's quite nice. That's a slightly orangey yellow, but not too orangey. I like that. And my favourite is this one, the golden yellow deep. So that's that. Now we have a cadmium orange light. I'm going by the numbers because it makes it easier for me to find. It's a very pretty peachy colour there but look at that end <laughs> it's quite dark isn't it let's have a look at that it doesn't look as peachy as I expected it definitely looks more orangey which is what the name suggests it's always a little bit tricky the ends of the pencils don't always tell you the whole tale do they now I haven't sharpened any of these just to warn you um, sometimes they look a little bit different when they've been sharpened. I'm just looking for the marigold. Look at the end of the marigold is really brown, but the end here is very bright. And I'm expecting this to be orange, not brown, which it is. So uh, it's not, It's you need to look at the um, ends rather than not look at this end rather than this end for the colour, I would say. Um, we have a, um, where are we? Cadmium Orange Deep. Did I not just swatch that by mistake? No. No. I think I'm going a bit mad. Cadmium Orange Deep is here. There we go. That's a really, really nice orange look. I really like that. That is not available in any other set but this one. Just to let you know, but that's lovely. I haven't done the yellow ochre here. That's why I'm getting confused. Here it is, number 77. It's quite a goldish colour, which is what I expected from the tip. I like that. That reminds me of a um, Prisma Green Gold. Now that is available in loads in all the 24 sets that colour it's just not available in the 72 
which is interesting. Okay, so that's all that page. There weren't very many missing, to be honest. This page has a few more. Now, the Alizarin Crimson is also available in most, in all of the 24 sets, apart from the Botanical set. Um, I'm just trying to see where it might be. I'm just going to pull out my other tray so I can have a good look. I'm thinking what sort of colour is it going to be? Now I've noticed that this set um, has the modern names on it. The um, My old sets have different names for some of the colours. They've changed a few of them. Um, so uh, here's the Alizarin Crimson. The um, skin tones that they used to call Flesh Light, Flesh, Flesh Deep. They've now changed to Tangerine, Coral and Peach. And the Indian Red and the Indian Red Light have been changed to Cherry and something else. So here's our Alizarin Crimson. Now I've got this already in other sets. Um, as I say, it's in a lot of the 24... No, yeah, it's in most of the 24 sets but not in the 72. <laughs> it's it's interesting, it's nice. Now magenta is next to it in the tray. Oop. There we go. I'd never know what to expect with the magenta, whether to expect it to be pink, purple, red or what. This definitely looks like a sort of reddy pink colour. So there's the magenta. That's not available anywhere else but in this set. Now we have the purple deep, which is 89. Is that up there? No, oh, that's one I can't wait to try. Here it is, purple deep. Okay. Again, this is unique to this set. Whoops. It's quite dark, but it's not dissimilar to the aubergine below it. A little bit different, I guess. And it's definitely darker than that purple. There. Now we have cobalt purple, which is the one I said I was looking forward to trying. Okay. Again, this is not in any other set. It's a very pretty purple. I think this is what attracts a lot of people to the castle arts, is the purples. It's a good range. I think I've always felt they're lacking slightly in greys and browns, but obviously this set may have more. It may not. Mm, I'm looking, there are a few more. Now Bengal Rose Deep and Bengal Rose. I'm going to have a look for those. I don't know, what's the number? 84 and 85. Um, trying to see where those numbers are. Around here somewhere. Those are the blues. Um, they've got a bit, it's a bit mixed. They're not in number order. There's Bengal Rose. It's a pink. There's a Bengal Rose colour in their metallic set. So, uh, but it's quite a sort of browny red. So I wasn't sure. There. It's quite a pretty pink, isn't it? And the Bengal Rose Deep I'm expecting to be to the side of it, which it is. There we go. So I also have, they do have a couple of sets some sets which are completely different to what's in this 120 set so I was going to show you those as well let's find the grenadine um, they have the um, um, hmm. ah, there it is in a different tray oh sorry um, there it is number 80 they have a pastel set now, none of the pastel colours are the same as the pastel colours um, in this set. And um, I have, um, have I done a swap sheet for those? I'm trying to think. Um, Opera Rose. Um, and they also do a set of metallic pencils, which I really like, but I'm a big fan of metallic pencils. Some people just really hate them. If you hate them, don't buy them. <laughs> Um, but, um, azalea pink, but, um, they, um, the, the metallics again are not included in this main set. They're very different. Right, Bengal Rose Lights. There's a lot of pinks here which are different to what we've got already, but you see we've got a lot of pinks anyway. Um, 
but if you like your pinks then you might prefer to have this bigger selection. The Opera Rose is in the Portrait set and the Monet set but none of the other pinks are in other sets. Now we have the Mauve, I have a feeling it's, no, where are you Mauve? Um, hmm, what colour number is that? 93, should be there, oh here it is. I thought it was blue when I saw the end, <laughs> but there it is Mauve. This is in quite a few of the 24 sets. As I say, if you're wanting to buy a few um, colours, I'm going to put, as well as the, I'm going to actually scan in this swatch chart, put it on my Kofi shop, it'll be there by the time this video goes out. So you can, um, these purple lakes are just my favourites. Um, so you can have a look for yourself and have a look and see what's included where and you know what you think is is what which are your favorite colors etc so I feel in the 72 set we're lacking browns and grays and yellows with regards to bright yellows there's loads of yellows they're just not bright enough for me I'm just I like my yellows bright so we have got one more bright yellow which is rather nice so that's and also reds so we've got on the um, alizarin crimson which i think is a nice addition right and we're moving into our blues now you can that's the range of blues we've got already which is quite a good range but we've got um quite a few more to add in so the first one i'm looking for is the cornflower blue i've already seen a few that i have never seen before so that's interesting oh here's the cornflower blue the end is purple which is interesting it looks quite purpley to me we'll see how it goes down hmm see i would put that in with my purples but also violets it's pretty that's for sure and that's not available anywhere else cobalt blue deep as with this one this is only available in this set so I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say um, really about castles yeah they have a lot of sales so it's always worth waiting for a sale I did when I bought my watercolor pencils from them um, I waited um, for a sale price or a discount code or something, I can't quite remember which, so that I got it a little bit cheaper. This one's a bit purpley as well. And it is on the end. It's a, these look a bit, this looks a bit like the um, Polychromos Ultramarine grey blue, which actually I felt like they were missing those shades, so it's really nice to have those shades. Intense blue, that's an interesting name, isn't it? Let's see what that is. It's very, I've never done a video where I've swatched pencils before. Um, I usually colour something, but I wanted to fill in this chart and just sort of talk to you about what was going on with, with uh, Cypress Green with Castle. Um, now, the collab scheme that they're running. Um, they have been asking for people to apply so if you are a youtuber or someone who posts a lot on on instagram and things like that then it might be that they will let you join they were looking for people and i just signed up so it's i don't know if there's anything about it on their website i don't know if they're doing it outside of the uk they may have their own scheme in america it might be worth asking if you're in america um, and want to get involved and what it means is as i said before you get five percent commission on sales um where people use your link obviously they have to use your link so it's trackable and um um you can also offer a discount to people which i think is rather nice but um so every and for me they sent they they were sending out a gift for everybody a free gift up to 50 pounds this was 49.99 i was very lucky um because it was reduced it's not always that cheap but um this is pretty um i um i think those blue extra blues really do fill in gaps i feel that there were if you know what I mean 
Now, teal green, where are you going to be? 105. Um, I'm just going to bring this tray at the back across it so I can see. I have a feeling that this one might be over here. That's the teal green light. Where's the teal green? <laughs> it's. Uh, I find them they're quite difficult to turn in the tray to to reveal the numbers. So uh, that's a bit tricky. Is it up here? I think that's the Terra Verde. Yeah, it must be down here. J. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. Teal green. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. But I sometimes I find that with the light and dark shades, there isn't a big difference between them. Here, look, I can't see a huge difference. This one's in the 72. This one's only in this 120 and the Van Gogh set, which is actually a discontinued set. Um, but I can't see masses of difference. There's obviously a little bit. Right, fellow turquoise, where are you? Mm. <laughs> there we go. I never know how to spell fallow. They spell it P-T-H. Um, Polychromas spell it P-H-T-H. -H. I had to um, look up how to say it as well um, quite a while ago now because I just didn't had no idea. <laughs> So we're looking for jade green. I've just found the mint, which is the next one. Oh, it's next to the mint. That makes sense. So here's our jade green. But I thought if I swatched my 72, it would make this process a lot quicker. And it would just allow you to see where the gaps are, really. This is mint green. Now I've got either the mint green or the mint green light, I think already. Oh yeah, this one's in the seascape set. Mint green light. Now, it is annoying that they don't do open stock. Very annoying. Look, I think that's darker. Um, it might just be my swatching technique, but I swear it's darker. Um, so, I have often asked the customer services if they do it and I think it's a wise idea for everybody to keep nagging them. Now we have a green gold which I was excited to see. I'm just trying to find it because I absolutely adore my Polychromos green gold. If anyone ever says to me what open stock Polychromos would you buy, green gold is the one that I tell them to buy. And that is very, this one is very pretty too. I use it as a cheats gold, so I can just use it as gold on its own without adding anything. And that one, I think you could do that too, if you wanted to. Um, leaf green, let me see, there's leaf green middle and leaf green light. It's got to be near it, but it isn't. <laughs> oh, I don't want to tease me. Where are you? Or am I just not seeing it and it's just there in plain sight? Leaf green middle light, cadmium. Where are you? Oh, it's down there. There's some greens in a different place. It's very confusing. Leaf green. Look, that looks light, light. Ah, that's castle green. That's why it's lighter. There, leaf green light. That's really light. Leaf green, I mean. Cadmium green pale next. That's lovely. I really like the cadmium green. It's mine is really really short. I've only got one. It's, it only comes in the 72 and the 120 set, and this one only comes in the 120. But although they're different colours, they're the same family, and I think I'm going to be using them a lot. This is the permanent green. I'm hoping this might be similar because it's next to it, but it isn't. But it's a nice sort of mid green sort of like a grass green I would say but obviously grass green varies so much between sets it's certainly not like a, poly a prisma grass green emerald green and talking about prismas these aren't like prismas these are harder pencils um, they aren't soft and smushy they do blend which is lovely but um, 
This is another one I really like. It's in the um, botanical set, but it's not in my 72 set. You can see how similar it is to the cadmium green. I like these sort of olives, but they are um, they they do blend together, which is nice. Um, I've done lots of videos using them already. I'm trying to find that Terra Verde deep. I found the Terra Verde, but the, for some reason the deep one isn't anywhere near it. <laughs> Mm. What number are you? 104. Oh, there you are. It looks blue on the end. But they're sort of grey colour. Grey green. That's quite pine greeny, I think. Like um, spruce, that sort of thing. But I, the colours blend together nicely. They hold their points pretty well. I don't have much trouble with breakage. I have some. Um, something I find is... now. They do a gold set as well. We'll talk about those a little bit maybe in a minute. But maybe we'll do it now. These I find when I sharpen them, the wood can... On my other sets, I haven't, obviously haven't sharpened this specific set. The wood can split. I'll show you an example. I had one where the wood was quite splitty earlier. Um, yeah, this one. Look at the wood. It's really splintery. And so I find that can happen. But then if you look at this one, that one's a bit splintery too. But this one looks, yeah, see they're all quite splintery on certain sides, that one. So there is that. Whereas with the gold set, which I've got over here, the wood doesn't splinter, it's smooth. And I think that's one of the main differences between the gold and for me, between them is this. Now, the splintering is only a problem if your um, sharpener is blunt. If your sharpener isn't very sharp, if your blade is a bit blunt, it can be it, it can be a pain. But if you're using a nice sharp blade, or you're using a hand crank sharpener like the Dow, um, it's absolutely fine. I can't use the Dow on some of mine; they're getting too short. But um, this nice having this, this is just the perfect brown that's missing from all my sets. This one needs something a little bit lighter than these two. It's just perfect. Now I've got a walnut brown. Ooh. This one's got some blue paint on it. It's interesting. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I don't mind. Now, obviously, these are budget pencils, so. They're not going to be as good as what you're going to get with your polychromos or whatever. But for the money, I've always felt that they are a good pencil. Warm grey light. Now, bearing in mind that I my favourite pencils are polychromos. Hard, um, oil-based pencils. As opposed to Prismacolors. If you're a Prismacolor fan, it's unlikely that you're... Um, find them easy to use because of them being a bit harder. Um, if you're a Prismacolor fan, you're going to want to go for an Artex pencil. I want to be honest, I know I should be promoting these because I was giving them for free, but there's no point in me telling you to get them if you're not going to like them. Um, Payne's Grey. See, these two greys I think are really a bit too similar. I'm interested to see what the Payne's Grey it's not hugely different. So the greys, I'm slightly disappointed in, I have to say. The Davies grey is a nice one because it's slightly brown. This is a new one to me, this charcoal one, that looks good. But And this is a nice light one. But these are all much for muchness, to be honest. In fact, the cool grey looks darker than the cool grey deep which is a bit odd and they're a bit too similar in colour. Um, it, I would prefer, I'm used to having Prismas and Polys where you get lots of greys. So that is, yeah, not brilliant, but that's okay. But I'm glad we've got a few more browns. Our brown range is still quite small as well, but the green range is fantastic. That's some of the greens. And there's some more on there as well. So I sort of get bluey greens here, but you know, get a nice lot of greens. Obviously that's a green gold, it doesn't quite sit in there. 
and also lots of blues it got all those blues and then of course your purples and your pinks again a lot so it's sort of missing red still I would say a little bit the yellows not so much but it all depends what your favorite colors are so that's the 120 I'm trying to think about what else I need to say to you I will just show you yeah I'll show you um, I'm just gonna put those out of the way so this chart as I say is going to be available on Kofi I will put there'll be a link in the description so you can there'll be a blank one if you want to swatch it you probably won't need to because there's a swatch chart in the set just in case you want to swatch the ones you've got that's that option will be available to you at the moment um, I haven't got one with the swatches and I think I'll swap it and then I'll scan this one in so you can have a look at the colors see which ones you like and then you can pick the set that's going to suit you the most so I'm just going to show you the other sets before we finish just so you can see them so this is the pastel tin set um, so they are completely different to to those and I'll just show you this. The pencils are coloured rather than um, black. And I think they're a bit thicker, but they might not be. Mm, no, I think it's just because they're coloured. It looks like they're thicker, but they're not. Um, so that it's quite useful being the colour of the um, of the you know them being the, the right colour. But I do tend to use this quite a bit. I'm still getting used to them. You've got a nice, uh, a few really pale ones, which again, not too useful. And there's a couple here that are quite fluorescent, which for me isn't pastel. But the rest of them, and even that one maybe, but the rest of them I like. I like the pastel tones. And as I say, they are different to what you get in the other set. So that's quite fun. So that's something if you want pastel pencils, they are a budget range. Um, they're a lot going to be a lot cheaper than the whole binds. Um, so that is an option. I'll show you the metallic as I've just brought them through so that you can see them. Um, I can't open the tin. There we go. So here's the swatch chart for the metallic. Now I'm going to tip it to the light and you're going to see that they're really not that shiny. Okay. Um, they are fairly, they, they aren't massively shiny in the way you would expect from a gel pen. Metallic pencils just aren't. But you get some really lovely bronzy shades. I just really like the colours, particularly this sapphire is really lovely and the amethyst and the violet sapphire. Also these yellows I really like and these greens here. So there are some really pretty ones but as I said there's this sort of um, so the sort of burgundy rose and jasper but these sort of roses are a little bit they're not red and they're not pink and they're not brown but they're somewhere in between and you know but uh, but it's a fun set and I've used them and had a lot of fun with them so those are the metallic now the metallic and pastel only come in 48s but you can get them in a pencil case you know this sort of one with the loops in as well as in a tin and as you can with all of their pencils and the watercolor set that I've got is here um, these are can be used wet or dry and I have tried them dry um, and just left them dry and I do like the look of them dry I haven't swatched them so I'm just going to show you the top tray I haven't used them loads because watercolor isn't my thing really I'm still practicing and learning now as you can see it's a hexagonal pencil not a round one so it's a bit different which is helpful because you can't get them mixed up you know um, they as a nice range of colors <clears throat> and they go down quite nicely actually I rather like them and the fact that they seem to be able to sharpen to a sharper point than the regular ones I feel perhaps it's just because it's a thinner pencil it just feels like it but you get your yellows oranges you sort of um, pale skin tones leading to your pinks and reds and then on this tray I've got black and browns there's a much bigger range of browns but not I know one gray and then a few more yellows and oranges and some lovely purples and then on this tray you get one more gray so there's only two grays again I like gray maybe I shouldn't like gray I don't know a few more violets and and greens and blues and things 
So I like the um, colours, but I haven't used them much. You can see that's my favourite. <laughs> it did break a few times, I have to admit. I'm not a big fan of these plasticky trays either, but that's just me. Maybe I should have got them in the slip cases, but I'm not a big fan of those either. Um, I'm getting used to them. I am getting some because they're useful in certain cases, but I prefer a tin. So that's that. Um, I'll just show you the Seascape set. It's got a few more. Um, it's got the white. Um, there's a pencil missing. I don't know why or where or which. That's interesting. We've got a gap. I've obviously lost one. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty, two, twenty, two. Yeah, don't know. I think it's the Payne's Grey. Yeah, it's the Payne's Grey. I know, I used one up in one of my sets and I think I sw switched it over from this set because I didn't tend to use the grey in the seascape because I tend to use the seascape for C. I don't use grey in my C, so I switched it out, I think. But that's uh, that's another set. And again, I've put the um, tape on the one that isn't, um, that bleeds into white, which um, when I've, when I finished scanning this in I'm going to put a white dot in um, in Posca pen on every one and then I will be able to carefully examine which ones go neon and it will help me to and I will label up this new set so that I know which ones are going to bleed into white pen but I think that is everything I can say about Castle um, I haven't tried their paint um, so I can't say anything about that I have tried their gel pens. I got them on special offer. Now I got them for £20 for the set of 100. They were brilliant value for money. However, some of them didn't work when they arrived. Um, and I'm sure had I told Castle, they might have done something to try and um, compensate me or replace them. But they were so cheap, I just didn't think it was worth the fuss. And they, I'm just using them up now. Some of them are just starting to go a bit thick. Um, there are some colours I'm not keen on, but with a hundred, there's always going to be. Um, but the Sakura ones are far superior, but far more expensive. As a budget pen, I suspect they are good. I haven't tried any other pens apart from Sakura, theirs, and um, Uniball Signo ones. So I think the Uniball Signo sparkly pens I had smelt nasty. These don't smell. <laughs> It's always nice not to smell. And they last a reasonably good amount of time. So um, I think if if you find them on special offer, it might be worth the gamble. I feel that it was worth the gamble and I had some fun with them. But gel pens aren't really something I use a lot. So I'm going to stick to smaller packs from now on. But there we go. I think I've said enough. Um, thank you if you stuck with me. My goodness. Um, that was I did go on. But um, I'm, I will be doing um, tutorials using these in the future, but I just felt it was a bit too much to put it all into the one video. We've, I've already talked for far too long. So, <laughs> so I'm going to stop now. But um, yes, as I say, they sharpen to a pretty good point. They blend well together. They, um, I find them, um, I think, value for money wise, very good, particularly if you can get them in a sale. Now these I've had bought for £10 before now. At the moment I think they're about £14.99, full price is £20. But they might not go down that cheaply again because obviously prices have gone up quite a bit lately. So, But it's always good to see you know, what deals are on. They've always got something on sale, so it's worth looking. Last thing is their colouring books. They do colouring books too. I've got flip throughs of those. I'm not going to blur on any longer about that, but if you want to have a look, I'll put a link to that as well. I'll put a link to all sorts of things in the description. So to the, to the swatch chart, to the website, to the various things, to, I don't know, everything. Go and have a look. <laughs> Be overwhelmed anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you have a really lovely day i hope that was useful if you've got questions leave them in the comments i don't know if i can answer them but i can try i answer all comments that i see um usually i, I pretty much all of them so i do ask questions and i'm always happy to try and help so thank you so much as i say have a lovely day and happy coloring